Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my favorite tips and tricks and ways to combat the winter blues. If you're anything like me, you are so done with winter. Oh, you guys, seriously, I want it to be warm and I want it to be summery and I want it to be beautiful, but I don't know, this weather makes me so lethargic and I just feel like just curling up and sleeping for days and days. So I can't do that all the time. So I'm gonna be sharing some of my tips for just combating the winter blues, depression, and just things that have helped me in the past and things that I need to just work on on doing for this winter too and helps my attitude and all that. So here are my favorite tips and tricks. So my first tip is to take a bath and, and go all out. I'm not talking just like a regular bath that you do every evening. I'm talking about like going all out, having like a spa-like experience in your home. So what I do, I use bubble bath, obviously. It's really hard to find like a, a bubble bath with clean ingredients. I got this one at Giant. Um, it's just the Nature's, the Giant's brand, Nature's Promise. Um, this stuff is, it's clean I think, probably not the best out there as far as like clean ingredient, but it's what I'm using right now until I find one that I actually like. And I like to have like this little bath tray. I know it's so extra and I got mine at all these a couple years ago. I will link one down below that um, I found that's kind of similar to mine. I use my bath tray all the time. So I'll put like my book on there, light a candle. I just absolutely love it. Sometimes I have a whole like I eat my dinner in the tub <laughs> with my bath tray. It's so fun. Anyway so what I do is I, I have this little um, basket beside my tub full of things for a bath. So I have like bath salts in there, bath bombs, chocolate. Currently I'm hooked on all these truffles. They are so good. I use like lemongrass bath salts, scrubs. It's just so fun. So I always have this stuff right beside my tub so that whenever I want to take a bath, I can just make it this fun experience. I'll dim the lights, light some candles, add some spa music that I play off of my phone. And seriously, even if you have like 10 or 15 minutes, just do it. Like you're a busy mom, all these kids don't have time to have a long, luxurious bath. Just 10 to 15 minutes can just feel so amazing to shut your eyes and relax. So much fun. Okay, so that's the first thing I like to do to combat winter blues. And other things you can do to help winter days go by just a little bit faster is to have some friends over for like an impromptu spa party soaking your feet. It doesn't even have to be fancy, you know? Everybody brings some of their favorite spa products. Um, just sitting around talking. It's so fun. It helps the days go by a lot faster and it can be a lot of work you think, but it doesn't have to be fancy. You can just seriously just have some buckets of water, hot water and have them soak their feet or whatever. Or you can have like a craft day. Everybody can bring whatever they're working on. If it's photo books or sewing or whatever it is, invite a couple friends together and just have like a craft day. Little things like that. Or make donuts, you know? I'm not gonna be the one to invite people over for donuts, but, cause I don't make them, but also I will 100% be the one to go to your party if you have a donut party. <laughs> so my other tip is get outside, get outside, get outside. Even if it's just for 10 minutes, there's something about that fresh air that is amazing, even if it's cold and blustery outside. Um, and going on a walk, you know, no matter how cold it is, getting some exercise does wonders for my mental health, and exercising gives me energy, proven to release endorphins in your brain. Those are the chemicals that make you happy. We're just taking a walk in the woods. It's so pretty. So I really, really encourage you, you and me, <laughs> to just get outside, go on a walk every single day, even if it's such a pain to bundle up all the kids, you know, but you know what, it's so worth it for them and for you. And so definitely go outside, get some fresh air, go on a walk. If it's a sunny day, especially getting some vitamin D. It's so hard to get vitamin D this time of year. Put your face out in the sun and just soak up some vitamin D, even if it's just a little bit. And speaking of vitamin D, I would really encourage you to take a vitamin D supplement. I take these right here. They help my mood so, so, so much. So many of us are deficient in vitamin D, especially in the winter, and that can lead to you feeling really depressed, um, just have so much fatigue, low immunity. So vitamin D, yeah. It's so good for you. Most of us are very, very deficient in it. Definitely taking a form of vitamin D is super, super beneficial. Also a drink I'm enjoying is this chai drink. You can buy it at Target and I love it iced, but you can also drink it warm. This is a chai concentrate. I pour it over ice. I add milk. It has instructions in the back, but then yeah, you can add whipping cream and ta-da! You have an iced chai that costs you about $3 less than Starbucks does. So, so good! Come to my house and I'll make you one. Another thing is adding lots of light, especially in the winter evenings right about now. 
I can start feeling like uptight and anxious and I just feel, I don't know. So I will go around the house and I will light candles and plug in my twinkling lights or whatever and just flip on all the lights. Somehow that really, really helps my mood and I just don't feel, I just don't like the darkness coming in on, in the evenings. I don't, I don't know if you get what I'm saying, but yeah, I think that lighting candles and just having this really cool feel in your house um, can really help. And if you're having a bad day, one of my biggest tips is to do something for somebody else. This sounds like my mom speaking right now as I say this. I hear my mother, but like, yeah, if you're having a bad day, do something for somebody else. That just takes your focus off yourself and it can really, really help to focus on other people and, and make their day. So another thing that can really, really help break up winter is to plan a getaway. You know, even if it's just one night at a cheap hotel and it's local, um, if you can afford it, go to a hotel, swim in the hot tub, swim in the pool. I know right now it's a little crazier, but it's something that you can just make so many good memories as a family. Just It can just be really, really fun. And prices right now are very affordable because it's it's still winter. Another thing is to visit a garden near you, like a botanical garden. We love the one that's in DC. It is so beautiful and warm and green. We went there in the dead of winter last year and we just loved it. Another thing is to buy a bouquet. It doesn't have to be expensive. It can be from Aldi or Walmart or whatever, but having flowers in the winter adds such a pop of color and life to my home. You can grab an extra one and drop it off at a friend's house, make her day too. So another thing I like in winter is this stuff here. It's face self tanner lotion. I will link this down below. It's basically like a lotion that helps you not be so ghostly white in the winter. It doesn't give you like a Trump tan, but it just gives you a nice little glow and you can build up. I just use a tiny little bit of it, but you can build up as brown as, or as tan as you want. I don't want to look super orange or anything. And I really don't think this gives you an orange look. I just think my skin looks so much better with a little bit of a tan. I think everybody's skin looks better with a little bit of a tan. Just a healthier complexion, not so ghostly, sickly white in the winter. So that's one thing I do that just, I, I guess it's not something that helps you kick winter blues necessarily, except for the fact that you don't look so white and ugly. <laughs> Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that video. I know it was a little different than what I normally post, or than what I normally do, but comment down below what are your favorite things to do in the winter, things that boost your mood, or if you're a winter lover, teach me your ways. I really would love to know what you like about winter and just your favorite things to do. I would love if you would tell me. And also, if you have any ideas on videos that you would like me to make, let me know. Comment them down below. Share this video with anybody you think that might enjoy it or needs a little boost, whatever. And yeah, take care.